and seen. <laughs> you say it again. Wagwan. <laughs> Wagwan, you two. What you talking about? <laughs> That's ye. This is Yang, bro. We're back, back with one. another video. I'm done. Yeah, it's retarded. If you ain't got no right, then we'll go to the party. 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 <laughs> we're gonna get we're gonna get into some stuff that we came across you know and as y'all can see by the topic it's about fertility yeah. uh we definitely wanted to touch on this uh topic because a lot of women may uh want to talk about their journeys but just don't know how to talk about their journeys so we're gonna give y'all an intro video so that y'all can you know share some stuff with us uh so basically this is about fertility how a woman uh, actually conceives uh, a baby a child and um we came across this while we were just having pillow talk one night mm -hmm. um we basically just made sure that well technically pillow talk is more about sex yeah, if we don't go into, we can't go into details. But if y'all want to know about, you know, details that we talk about, cause we talk about everything, mm -hmm. then uh, we'll possibly give y'all a video. Just get this video to a hundred likes, and then we'll talk about that. <laughs> but anyways, um, so yeah, while we were having pillow talk, y'all, we were scrolling, uh, scrolling down Facebook. I mean, not Facebook, Netflix, Netflix. and we uh, Netflix and chill. Okay, and we seen this uh series called Sex Explained. I don't know if y'all seen it on Maybe Netflix. You see with sex, you gonna want to click. Okay, but I was at first I was like, I don't want to explain about sex, bro. I know how I, to get down. I know how she was looking at it because <laughs> I'm the one that clicked it. So Correct. I was like, I'm like, let's watch something different. Like you know, you get tired of watching some of the same stuff on Netflix. So yeah. So I as pushed, baby pushed it. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Okay, so as baby like like basically uh clicked on it and was watching the series, it, it has all kinds of stuff. It got how you have sex, uh, orgasms, right? Yeah, it's, uh, it's different um episodes, episodes. on different uh, categories than the one. The first one was like fetishes or some shit. Oh yeah, that one was a little different, but yes. and then it got into some some other stuff. How we mentioned fertility. Yes, yeah. facts, facts, facts. And the fertility actually starts with something first which is you know the ovulation and stuff yeah. like that but based off what we you know we was watching we'll give y'all some details of what we learned mm -hmm. and like you know how we took it how we related to you know what we're going through so, correct and um, i took some notes because i need to understand the process so if y'all see me looking down that's what i'm looking at even the verbiage um, like oh yeah because i didn't know some of it same. So, um, so the first thing I noticed that they were talking about, uh, the fallopian tube and basically it's the, the fallopian tube is how the, no, that's not the first thing I learned about, but that's a big process of it because the egg actually flows through the fallopian tube and meets the sperm. And that's how the sperm yeah. actually goes that's into what they, you the know, connect. That's what they had a date. That's what they, you know, okay. yes, they first girl. meet. Like, cause, they, the, cause the they show was add like, each other on Facebook. Because <laughs> the show is like how the sperm actually brushes up against the wall hairs. Did y'all even know that inside of our bodies we have hair? Yeah, I don't know what that was. I don't know either, but yeah, I'm gonna have to look into that. But yeah, <laughs> and then also <clears throat> I um, I understood that an egg uh, is good for eight hours, and you can never be accurate with that time. So, if you ever try to figure out, at, like, as you're ovulating, how long your egg is good for, it's eight hours. So, if you really, really, really trying to have a baby, then just have sex probably, like, two, three times a week. Okay? Because, yeah, like, it releases after that time of the eight mm -hmm. hours after you're ovulating. So, that's the big thing about it. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Yeah. And the sperm uh, actually lasts for, like, three days yeah. while that's it's crazy. inside of you. So, technically, you can get pregnant uh i think the what they say you ovulate for about how long like 72 up, hours up to 72 hours or so like if you having sex before you're ovulating it the sperm can stay in the what they call them the crypts what is that 
Did you write that down? Yeah, the crypts, the inner elite spots in the cervix that are like holes that sperm gets trapped. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So they can stay in there and then like, you know, you gotta probably have an orgasm or something too okay. to push the yes. sperm up the, you know. That's what's it called? They the say. cervix. It has to go through the cervix. You want that little small little area? Yeah, you know. Oh, that's what that is. It gotta go through the cervix to get to the uterus, and then through the uterus it goes so, to the fallopian tube. For all my lesbians, yeah, y'all let this stuff. Let me let let, let me just let me just educate y'all real quick for the people that like to do the fingering. And I know this may be rated R for YouTube, so that's why it's no kids. I I made sure I monetized it. I mean, not monetized, but uh. You know, cast the all no kids should watch this video, and I'm gonna say it. Please do not watch this video Including if you guys T -T. are not T T. Jo -Jo. If y'all are mm -hmm. not supervised by a parent to learn I'm this information, don't my just don't watch this video, don't please. Need, don't we don't want and we don't want to hear about it because you know we will find out anyway. But like I was saying, for the lesbians out there that actually does the fingering to their partners, uh, you know, like when you in there, when you in them guts. You know what I'm saying, and you feel like you kind of curve it, and you fit, and you fit that little, that little hole right there. I don't know if y'all know what I'm talking about, but if you know what I'm talking about, like the damn video so I know that y'all know what I'm talking about, cause I ain't crazy. But anyways, I felt that before, and I think that's where I have to examine her when she it's time. So I just thought I should put that like. Put that in the air. Y'all let me know if I'm if I have the right idea, if I don't have the right idea. Cause I'm the one doing the inseminating. And it's hard for me. I want to make sure I'm doing the right. I'm educating myself as much as I can. So let me know if what I feel while I'm in them guts, that little hole, that little hole thing where you put your finger right there, but it won't let you go in. It just lets you touch the tip. If that's the actual cervix that I need to be putting the thing in. Go ahead. Anyway, so the yeah, we talked about the Philippian tube already. Uh, <laughs> um, what else we what else we talk about? Again, once the egg actually <laughs> goes through, as they call it, the labyrinth, it's like a series of events that has to happen for it to actually make it that far. Like you have to go through the vagina, then through the um, through the cervix, mm -hmm. and then through. The uterus and the fallopian tubes like then you finally meet at the fallopian tubes like the egg and the sperm like it flows down to the uterus and then these to stick to the the uterus walls mm -hmm. for it to actually like you know stay there and form a baby correct because if it doesn't it just releases and you know mm -hmm. you ain't pregnant facts 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 it was something i was about to say because you had reminded me um Oh, fuck. I forgot what it was. Oh, only one sperm can be attached to an egg. Yeah. Only one. I thought that twins was made because two sperms or some or no, three sperms then then um then you know what I'm saying came into one egg. But no, the does need one egg is one baby. Yeah. If you, if two sperms were released, I mean if two eggs were released, then there's an op opportunity for two sperms to attach to each or one sperm to attach to each egg. Yeah. So that makes a lot of sense. So that was very educational for me because I was like, oh she was born a twin. Yeah. So anyway, again. So yeah, anyways, um, so yeah, I would like to let y'all know about the, what she puts her, like what she pees into and y'all can see the dates that we've done, um, how yeah. long. Yeah, the whole ovulation, we're going to give y'all like a breakdown of what yeah. we experienced, what we know, what we found out. Mm -hmm. stuff like but that's another video, so don't yeah. give it away. Don't yeah. give it away. <laughs> Until next time, y'all follow us on Instagram at loveyandyang and y'all could be our boomerang. Bye, y'all. See ya. <laughs>